The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Whom should I dread? When those who do evil draw near, they stumble and fall. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. My dear brothers and sisters, coming together as God's family, we gather to celebrate this Eucharist, knowing that we are in need of God's love, of God's forgiveness. And so let us first and foremost take a moment to acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O oh God, from whom all good things come, grant that we who call on you in our need may at your prompting discern what is right, and by your guidance do it. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Please be seated. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, to this day, whenever Moses is read, a veil lies over the hearts of the children of Israel. But whenever a person turns to the Lord, the veil is removed. Now the Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. All of us, gazing with unveiled face on the glory of the Lord, are being transformed into the same image from glory to glory, as from the Lord who is the Spirit. Therefore, since we have this ministry through the mercy shown us, we are not discouraged. And even though our gospel is veiled, it is veiled for those who are perishing, in whose case the God of this age has blinded the minds of the unbelievers so that they may not see the light of the gospel of the glory of Christ, who is the image of God. For we do not preach ourselves, but Jesus Christ as Lord, and are ourselves as your slaves for the sake of Jesus. For God who said, let light shine out of darkness, has shown in our hearts to bring to light the knowledge of the glory of God on the face of Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord. The glory of the Lord will dwell in our land. The glory of the Lord will dwell in our land. I will hear what God proclaims, the Lord, for he proclaims peace to his people. Near indeed is his salvation to those who fear him. Glory dwelling in our land. The glory of the Lord will dwell in our land. Kindness and truth shall meet, justice and peace shall kiss. Truth shall spring out of the earth, and justice shall look down from heaven. The glory of the Lord will dwell in our land. The Lord himself will give his benefits. Our land shall yield its increase. Justice shall walk before him, and salvation along the way of his steps. The glory of the Lord will dwell in our land. Alleluia, alleluia. I give you a new commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. 
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you, unless your righteousness surpasses that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will not enter into the kingdom of heaven. You have heard that it was said to your ancestors, you should not kill, and whoever kills will be liable to judgment. But I say to you, whoever is angry with his brother will be liable to judgment. And whoever says to his brother, Raka, will be answerable to the Sanhedrin. And whoever says, you fool, will be liable to a fairy Gehenna. Therefore, if you bring your gifts to the altar, and there recall that your brother has anything against you, leap your gift there at the altar. Go first and be reconciled with your brother, and then come and offer your gift. Settle with your opponent, opponent quickly while on the way to court with him. Otherwise, your opponent will hand you over to the judge and the judge will hand you over to the guard, and you will be thrown into prison. Amen, I say to you, you will not be released until you have paid the last penny. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. I think this is one of, when I was in, in seminary, I had, you know, there was a priest who, you know, always was very busy and oftentimes didn't have a lot of time to prepare a homily. And so we always knew what that was because he would say what I'm about to say. I think Jesus says it all in the gospel, just proclaim, and I don't need to add anything else. And, and I say that because, not because I didn't prepare a homily, because I have a mass later on today, but because I think it's so true. Jesus invites us to be reconciled with others. I think oftentimes we come and we want to ask God for forgiveness. And we want to be reconciled with God. But we oftentimes forget that other important aspect, that other important component. That we too must be willing to forgive others. That we too are called to be reconciled with others. I think oftentimes we pray the Our Father. And we forget that part of the Our Father. That it says for us, for God to forgive us. But we forget to say or what it says when as we forgive others. The call as a Christian disciple, my dear brothers and sisters is not only to be able to ask for forgiveness, but to be willing to forgive. And I think that's probably where we might struggle the most. Because how many times in our lives do we struggle to forgive? Many of us might have heard that beautiful saying, which is so true, which says it's easier to ask for forgiveness than to forgive. Yet as Christian disciples, as followers of Jesus, we are called not only to ask for forgiveness, but to be willing to forgive others. As we gather here on this morning to celebrate this Eucharist, Jesus reminds us that before we approach the altar of God, before we are nourished in sacrament, we must be willing to forgive in the manner of the good shepherd. And since I'm skipping my class right now, I'm going to give you a little bit of homework. And my homework is this. Spend some time today doing two things. First and foremost, think about who in your life right now you need to forgive. And secondly, perhaps more importantly, ask Jesus to help you forgive. As the good shepherd 
to help you let go. Not for their sake, but for our sake in our response to the invitation of the Good Shepherd. Amen. And now we stand with hopeful hearts we lift up our intentions to our merciful Father on this day for church leaders. May God grant them clarity of vision in guiding his people to deeper holiness. Let us pray to the Lord for government leaders. May God bring them grace and wisdom in working to protect the dignity of every human person, let us pray to the Lord. For those who struggle with anger and forgiveness, may God transform their hearts by the power of his love. Let us pray to the Lord. For our faith community, may God open our hearts more fully to receive his word and follow his will. Let us pray to the Lord. For all the faithful departed, especially for the eternal repose of Maria Natividad Gison, for whom we offer this Mass, and for the eternal repose of Salud Alhambra, may they and all the faithful departed rest in the eternal light of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. For those prayers which we hold in the silence of our hearts. For these, let us pray to the Lord. God of light and goodness, we bring you these intentions today with confidence that you will answer them according to your holy will. For we offer them all through Christ our Lord. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of our creation. Through your goodness, we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look kindly upon our service, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer may be an acceptable oblation to you and lead us to grow in charity through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you. All the redeemed praise you and are your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. 
Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, thou who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of her mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. So we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. 
but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. My God is my saving strength.
May your healing power, O oh Lord, free us, we pray, from doing evil and lead us to what is right. Through Christ our Lord, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Mass is ended. Go in peace. Have a blessed day.